first question is, is there year-round access to the property in both rainy season and dry season? And this seems like kind of a strange question because in North America, roads work, whether it's winter, summer, spring, rain, dry, roads work all year round. But in Latin America, a lot of the dirt roads where a lot of the projects and developments are located along the beach especially or up in the mountains, uh, those roads look great in the dry season. In fact, if, when they're graded, you can drive 45 miles an hour on them. So you can really just zoom right along. But in the rainy season, many of these roads turn into mud pits where literally you have to get pulled out by a team of oxen because you're up to your axles in mud. And so uh, one of the tips we have is uh, if you're buying property at the end of a dirt road, buy it in the rainy season. Because when you buy property in the rainy season, you know how bad the road is going to get. And that's really important because you want to know that you can get to your property in the rainy season. The other thing is creeks. And, and rivers as they call them. A lot of rivers here I would call them creeks, but anyway growing up in northwest Pennsylvania. But these rivers slash creeks run dry in the dry season, no water. And in the rainy season there might be eight, ten feet of water in that thing rushing down. So again, these are the kinds of things you find out in rainy season that you would never know in dry season. So year-round access to the property is absolutely paramount for your quality of life satisfaction if you're an owner of a property at the end of a dirt road, which again, many, many communities and developments in Latin America on the beach or in the mountains especially are at the end of a dirt road because the government doesn't have the money to pave the roads like we do in North America and the U.S. and Canada. Uh, a lot of times public road improvements are actually made by the developer, not by the government. I know in our case we've spent over a million dollars fixing a public road so that we have the year-round access that's needed by our residents and neighbors at Grand Pacifica specifically and in the other communities that we're building as well. A lot of times in this part of the world you'll hear people talk about distances in miles or kilometers. But that's irrelevant. A distance is a time. How long does it take you to get from point A to point B? And it goes back to the idea of the dirt roads versus paved roads and how, what kind of conditions these roads are in. But at the end of the day, you want to know how long it takes to go from point A to point B. And so, yeah, finding out how far it is to the hospital, how, you know, how long it will take you to get to the hospital, how long it will take you to get to the grocery store, the bank. I mean, these are the kinds of things, again, that really factor into quality of life. And I know a lot of people who live in rural parts of the United States and Canada. I grew up in northwest Pennsylvania and very rural. And, and for us to get to the grocery store was 15, 20 minutes. No big deal. You jump in your car, you drive 15, 20 minutes, you're at the grocery store. Um, that, that is what's important to feel what's your comfort level for how long it takes to get somewhere. And then make sure you're locating yourself where you feel comfortable.